How did I not get on King of the Nerds? What is up, you guys? I'm a Super Anime Girl, and this is episode 5 of the Space Dandy Vlogs. So this episode starts off with, Hi, are we gonna explain how they came back to life? No? Well, I guess that whole episode was a... God, that reference is old. This episode starts off with, of course, Space Dandy looking for another alien that's worth a lot, a lot of money. But instead, he finds a little girl alien. No, I'm not gonna say what the alien is because once again, I cannot pronounce it. I also can't pronounce her name, which is like, a gaily? I think that's what it was. It was in passing, like twice, so I really couldn't hear it. Anyway, this alien's power is that she can transfer somebody, some person, to like this toy alien penguin, which I swear to god looks like a Pokemon, and she does it to Dandy. However, this type of alien's power only lasts for 666 seconds. I guess there's some kind of symbolism in there. Every day. And this alien is worth a lot. Like, a lot, a lot, like 8 million whatever their currency is. And eight million no matter where is a lot of money. And yeah, Danny takes him to tries to take her to the alien registry, but there's a little catch. The Aloha Oi has been uh stuck in impound because they were uh breaking a traffic violation. It's just like, yeah, just take her to the registration by foot or by car and it's like that's gonna take a couple days. And really you can automatically tell by just looking at that whole scenario where this episode's gonna go. Basically this whole episode is Dandy says he doesn't like kids, the kid says she doesn't like adults, and it's typical. You see this coming from a mile away. Just by the promos you're just like, oh, Dandy, they're not gonna like each other, and then there's gonna be a really, really pretty montage, and it was a really pretty montage, and they get to know each other more, and they actually start to like each other, and by the end it's all good, and you know, I guess Dandy has some character development. But honestly, because of that, I think I really, really like, like genuinely like this episode because it's an episode where, compared to the last four, is a lot different. For example, Pokemon Badge Eye, nowhere in this episode. He's nowhere to be seen in this episode at all. And Dandy isn't a total dick to people in this episode. Because the alien girl's trying to find her grandfather along the way, and he's just like, yeah, I'm gonna go look for him. But she doesn't know, and, oh god, it's so typical, but it's so adorable. And on their way to, like, the registration, the kid misunderstands, is just like, all adults are the same, yeah. And, of course, she gets kidnapped by these other alien hunters, and Dandy saves her, and then she gets back to her grandfather, and she's like, you're not gonna take me to the alien registration? No, you're good. And it was done actually kind of well. Because, again, in the last few episodes, Dandy was kind of a douche to everybody. And this is the one instance so far where he hasn't been a total dick. So this was a nice change of pace compared to the last four episodes. I don't know, maybe it's kind of going for that, um, Cowboy Bebop thing, you know. Because if you've seen the show, you know that the first four episodes of Cowboy Bebop, easily skippable. While episode five is the one that's like, yeah, yeah, now I'm interested. What, what, where, where was this episode? Maybe they're trying to do that here. I hope that's kind of what they're going for, but not as dark as Cowboy Bebop. But just make it good because everything was done right in this one. Even the animation looked good in this. It looked phenomenal compared to last week's episode and the episodes before that because they were all sloppily done and this looked nice. It wasn't great, but it looked nice. So really, long story short is, if you have been watching Space Dandy for a while and are just like, eh, I don't know, this is the episode to get your friends kind of into it. Because I guarantee 
they're gonna be like, huh, this doesn't look that bad. So till next time, I'm the Super Anime Girl, and I will see you guys next week.